how to add patterns to shapes in Affinity Publisher. Now, I've got a design here, you can see that's a pattern that's been created and been stretched. So what I'm going to do, just quickly remove that. Now I can apply these patterns to all kinds of shapes and designs. I'm just going to select one of these ones. So I'm going to go with Rectangle Tool. So with Rectangle Tool, what I can then do is go down here, down to the tools, and there's a Fill Tool. Select that. With the Fill Tool, you can just apply a gradient just there. You can see it doesn't look particularly very much now, but what you can do, you can go to, instead of Solid, Linear, Elliptical, right down the bottom, there's Bitmap. So select Bitmap, and what you can then do is you can select a file, like a JPEG or a PNG file. Not every format is probably supported, so uh, but if you stick to JPEGs, PNG, etc., probably be fairly safe. So just select File and click Open, and then you can see Design. And what you can do, you can see these controls. Now you can squeeze it like that, and you can drag that out. You can also move the origin point. You can see there as well. Now because it's just set here. Is maintain fill aspect ratio. You can select that and then it's frozen. So if you don't want that, you can just click there and again you can put it to that. And of course, you can squeeze that in there and squeeze like that. And now you've got the quality, so you can go for there or you can go for basically looks much the same. However, you've got some other options and this is more useful because obviously, if you've got an image like this, sometimes of course you bring an image in. It's not particularly going to look like much of a tile warm. So go to extend, there's extend options here, and go to mirror. And straight away you can see with mirror, you've created a lovely pattern design. Now it's not the most sophisticated, obviously you could probably, there's numerous other pattern designs that can be created. Sadly, this is the only one you can use in Finity Publisher. So you can see the design there. And you can, of course, rotate that around. So if you decide, you can also drag it out, really make it extreme. So that's how I created the earlier one. So you can create this lovely and squeeze that. So it's very, very close. So it's all been crunched together and you can create these lovely lines. Now, of course, what you can do then, you've got your design there and you can always edit it at another point. So you get here and you think, you know what? I don't want that. What I can do, I can go again back to the tool here, the fill tool, and again go to bitmap and I can change my mind. So now just by selecting bitmap it will bring up this and you can select say that one instead, a different file. And then you can see the design there. Again just puts it back to default. You think it would keep it as it, as it was before but it doesn't do that. What you can then do is mirror again if you want it to give a sort of more nice pattern design and you can, you can just stretch that out and again move that around. There's also other options. There's repeat, which is not so effective, I don't think, as a pattern, and zero, even less effective. So mirror is probably going to be your best one. And you can zoom in and zoom out and move it around. And do that. So you can do that with PNGs and JPEG files. But of course, you can do more than just that. What you can do, you can always Got this design here. Now, if I go over to layers, you can see here a rectangle. You can hold down your Alt or Option key <coughs> and then duplicate it. So you've got two rectangles now. Now, what you can also do, of course, you've got two rectangles. You can then go to over to the fill tool and you can modify one of them. That doesn't affect the other one. So you can change origin point, change the angle, move that around. And you can see you've got two designs there. But because it's a layer, what you can do, you can go to say darken, multiply, lighten, and so and so. And you go run through all those overlay difference. Of course, you can still continue to modify that. So once you've got that, you can then, of course, just select both of those. And if you want, of course, you can always go to layer, and there's options obviously to group. So you just group them all into one, so it's a nice group. So you can then move it around. And of course, what you can do with these, you can always convert it to a curve and then modify the design. So layer, and I need to select the individual ones. Can't do the whole group, 
really weird actually because you might have like 50, 50 items there. so you have to go through every single one so go to layer and convert to curves and again you can go to layer and convert to curves and now with those both as curves what you can do go here to the node tool and you can modify that design you can add additional points and you can do that to both of them obviously you can create all kinds of unique designs you don't have to fill obviously the entire Okay, click there, drag that up, and you can see you can create all kinds of great combinations of these pattern designs. Now, of course, what you can also do, you can create your own pattern designs. Very simple. Simply, of course, use the various features, like if you've got Finti Photo, probably even more useful, or maybe go to, and there's a good old Photo Persona. So you can create your sort of design in that, Create a wonderful design and then save it as a JPEG file or PNG, etc. And then, of course, you can then import it back into good old Affinity Publisher. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo Designer and Publisher. Also, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What things have I done wrong? What things have I done right? Maybe if things were a bit too fast, please let me know and I will do the video again. Also, uh, any other sort of queries, uh, dislike or like, that's always appreciated. Thank you much.